14 community. I wanted to kind of show you like a quick inventory of the quick shifter um, install. From what I'm looking at, this is what you get on the first. This is the actual unit where you actually put the, the bolt through. As I'm looking in the directions, as I showed you, I think mine is going to be similar to this. Um, but yeah, that's how that's going to be fit. And it provides the bolt for you. So this is Bluetooth connected. So that's one portion of it. And then the harness connections. I don't even know if I need to do a full video install of it. So it's just literally, you're gonna plug this here, plug that there, all right? Gonna ground it. And then you're just gonna put the connectors. This goes to the harness itself and this goes over the coil. And literally that's it. Um, I'm going to see if I can quickly put at least a harness there and they give you a block off if um, you, you know let's say you want to disable it or take it off whatever but they give you the zip ties and everything you know shout out to heel tech for creating something that simple you know but um, I, I was trying to see if there were actual in-depth videos for the 14 I'm putting that in there and I had to go with this solution since I no longer will be using the power commander on my 14. But, um, you know, I'm gonna see if I can at least get one on. If I feel a little froggy, I'll do the rest. That looks like really easy, All right? It's just the space. So basically, you take the corresponding bridge, right? So each one is gonna be paired, okay? So you just kind of bridge it for all four and then you run the wire or the main harness somewhere to the back of the bike you want to keep it away from vibration so uh, I'm gonna play around and see if I can get the rest done but that's how that's done you just put the bridges on just like this that easy so, so I'll be back this is where the sensor is gonna go, all right? So, since this one stock is going near the bottom, I'm gonna see if I can switch the new one to do it on the top as it was set in the instructions. It has a bunch of zip ties that I'm gonna kind of put here. I'm at least gonna install that today and then um, work with that, but literally, it's that simple. So this, they give you like a Velcro to stick it somewhere. Uh, probably put it near the rear of the bike. But uh, that's where Mr. Quick Shifter is gonna go in. And for that, oh, it's kind of loose. All right, so I'll be back once I get uh, a little Having further. To do was completely take the lever off and I kind of took uh, a marker and kind of lined it up so I put like the gray right down the middle so I could line it right back up to put this sensor right in there so um, now I'm going to tighten it and that will be you know I'm going to zip tie everything to like existing wires and then uh, I'll start working on the uh, connectors but that's how it's supposed to look, All right? Do it from the top, not the bottom. Uh, it, it, I'm just going by what's indicated. All right, folks, you will not believe it. The quick shifter is already installed. Uh, I didn't know I would have that much space, but piece it, some tips. The air hose, you wanna, might wanna move that out of the way. And then let me come to the other side. Like legit, this only took me about 15 minutes to 20 minutes tops all right so just did the daisy chain i put the quick shifter up in the front kind of zip tied it to the existing wiring harness 
All right, that's it. And then make sure you get a proper ground for this sucker. I'm gonna probably put it like right here. And so, and then put a washer to tighten it. But literally, the space is not as bad as I thought. But quick shifter installation is complete. Uh, yeah, I know some folks are saying that there's not a lot of space to work, but if you, you know, like the bracket that holds the wiring harness on the left side, take that off and unplug this wire or this connector and the one right here. I don't know if I'm pointing to it, that one right there. All right, you un uh, disconnect that, then you're free to move. I didn't need tools, really. It was easy. All right, so um, that concludes everything. I'm going to do a demo probably tomorrow. But uh, I'm going to start zip tying and closing the freaking bike up. Um, I'll do the light kit install another time, probably after I get back from duty. But uh, we'll see y'all later. All right, folks. Conclusion. I got everything zip tied to the frame and to the existing wiring harness so it's out of the way and you got the quick shifter in there the module everything went back started the bike up um, this thing I'm gonna adjust it a little bit because it, it was like almost instant so uh, I actually want to increase a little bit of the time on the kill, the kill time, because it was like literally like insta, insta uh, shift. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and work with that. But um, make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. Uh, I want to thank Absolute Cycle that uh, Steve he actually got me the quick shifter to put in here. So as far as the performance stuff, I think I have what I need already. Uh, the last thing, and that's going to take some saving, is getting the Karazara, uh, um, well, the aluminum wheels to, you know, drop weight, rotating mass, all that. I think that should be it. But as of right now, I think I'm good to go. Um, the last thing, you know, you're going to see like the strobe lights and everything that Lola had before the brain box uh, blew up on her. But this is when Alex likes this, the man, the myth. PR1. I'll see y'all later. Shout out to those subbing to the channel for the first time. Really appreciate y'all. Peace.